in literature, everyday life, and beyond. Uh, some of the most classical forms of shame that has been seen in our society, or at least in human societies, has been through literature and um, literary works such as Oedipus, in which Oedipus, after having sex with his mom, felt ashamed and eventually led to his epic downfall. In our everyday lives, we all find shame. Some of the forms of shame that you may be familiar with would be um, Elena, Brian's takedown of Frankie Perry, um, spaghetti. All instances, all instances of spaghetti generally are a form of shame, but at the time we don't really realize it to be shame until it is afterwards recognized as spaghetti. Sometimes we don't even realize that we should be ashamed. Look at Chris. Chris was caught on Skype once, jacking off with his mic on, because he left his mic on, and he was ashamed. However, if we called him out on it now, he would claim that he wasn't ashamed and that this incident never really happened. You see, when people feel ashamed, they tend to avoid dealing with the issue because they're so afraid of it. It's a form of extreme internal embarrassment in which we feel lesser because we are embarrassed by our actions. It's not so much like, oh, I did this, haha, that's embarrassing. It's like, oh my god, I did this and this is so fucked up that I can't believe this possibly happened. What do I do? I don't even know where to go from here. I'm just embarrassed. This is I feel dishonored and disgraced. I am ashamed. In classical times, we would duel each other for satisfaction when we were ashamed. In Asian societies, um, parents are often told, or parents often tell their kids that if they do not do well and succeed and excel in academics and in other environments, then they will bring dishonor or shame to their family, and they will be inferior, essentially. Um, through these examples, I've demonstrated that shame has affected all of us in some way. I don't believe that there's a single person that can say that they have not felt ashamed in anything because looking back into our past, we would recognize that there was at least one instance in which we felt shame or regret. Shame is kind of closely intertwined, in my opinion, to regret in that if you, it's, it's, it's kind of like one of those, it's not a double standard, so, or it is a double standard, I mean. So, like, you can feel ashamed, and if you are ashamed of something, you will regret that, but just because you regret something doesn't mean that you feel ashamed of it. Being ashamed is literally, like, it's, it's such a mark against your personal, um, your, 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 just your personal self-image, you know, your image of yourself saying, I feel bad, I'm bad. Chris Frankie went 0-12 this morning in a League of Legends 5's game with me, and he said, I'm a baddie. That was a form of shame. He felt bad because he fell. DJ Rance Rudd is immune to shame because he is black, and Negroes are known not to feel shame. If they did feel shame, they wouldn't do a lot of the things they do. Look at Kanye West. Look at Taylor Swift. None of that would have happened if he had any shame. Shame goes beyond just, like, to have shame is a saying, like, okay, you have no shame. Like, you have no moral conscience of doing this because you do not feel shame. You do not feel the emotions associated with shame. You do not feel bad. You do not feel... It's just, it's a big disambiguation. Um, to have shame is to have a sense of what... Of, of self-pride, really. To have shame is to have pride. All in all, shame has affected all of us, and, you know, um, let me think of other forms of shame that we can go over, really. Uh, there is psychological and social shame. Psychological shame would be like, oh, I can't believe I'm so stupid and did this, as opposed to social shame which would be like, oh, oh my god, I accidentally, I don't know, like if I was Stephen Rotting. Stephen Rotting hooked up with a guy at a party because he was intoxicated. That's not drunk, that's just gay. That's shameful. That's something to be ashamed of. No matter what they tell you in school and on TV and in social media, homosexuality is something to be ashamed of. That's why Brian doesn't live in Texas anymore, because he's too ashamed. Time is up. Time is up. Time is up. Please go away. Time is up.
I was up. Shut the fuck up. Now there will be a 